If you're trying to apply for credit cards but don't want to waste a hard pull because you're not sure if you'll be approved, you're going to want to watch this video. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Currency Counts where I cover all things money, from how to save money, make more money, loans, credit cards, and more. As always, I have some great information for you. I'm gonna show you a few credit cards where you can apply and see if you're pre-approved without an impact to your credit score, plus your approval amount, so no more applying blindly. The first one is from Avant, and they have two products, the MLS Forward and the Avant MasterCard, the second of which we're looking at. With the Avant MasterCard, you can qualify with a credit score as low as 580. One thing I do like about this card is that along with pre-qualifying without impact to your credit score there's no hidden fees and they don't require a security deposit like other credit cards for bad credit saving you money up front and they also report to the three major credit bureaus so if you're trying to build credit that's a plus the credit limit is decent for a low credit score card ranging from 300 to three thousand dollars but it's ultimately going to depend on your credit score although it doesn't have the highest credit limits of a starter card or a bad credit credit card it beats out similar cards in the same category plus if you use the card responsibly you may be able to raise your credit credit limit over time. From what I saw online, it's about every six months for an automatic credit limit review. But you can also call Avant and request a credit line increase at any time. And the APR for this card starts at 27.49 to 29.99% and it does have an annual fee of $59. No annual fee is always preferred, but it's not bad considering other cards in the same category's annual fees start at about $199. The Avant card also has a cash advance as a feature where you can withdraw money directly from the ATM, but you'll only be able to withdraw 25% of your credit limit. For example, if you have a thousand dollar credit limit, you'll only be able to pull out 250 from the ATM. And you also have an additional fee of $10 or 3% of the cash transaction. So there are those crazy fees again. So I definitely advise against using this feature, but if you need emergency cash, it is a good feature to have. All things considered, this is a pretty good credit card that approves people with bad credit. So the next card is a bit different and you do have to jump through a few hoops in order to qualify, but there is no credit score required, self credit. To get approved for the self visa, no matter your credit score, you have to open a self credit builder loan, which also doesn't require a credit score. And if you want more information on the self builder product, I do have a standalone video. All right, so stay with me here. After you open up your self credit builder loan and make three months of consecutive on-time payments and have $100 in your loan progress, you'll be able to opt in for the self visa card without a hard pull to your credit. All you would have to do is choose a portion of your savings progress, $100 or more, to secure your card and set your limit, meaning you're moving a portion of your money from your secured loan to your secured card and that would be your new limit. One of the downsides to using this card, and it's a real downside, is that there's a 26% variable interest for using the card. You're getting charged interest on using your own money and that's never good. The only reason you'd want to do this is to actually rebuild credit, especially since there's no credit score required to be approved. So if I was in the process of rebuilding, I'd only use this card once a month and only for small purchases, maybe a pack of gum. This way it reports to my credit report as satisfactory and pad my 100% payment history. Next is a Prosper card and you can check to see if you pre-qualify without an impact to your credit score. Prosper claims its card is designed to help you establish credit, leading you to believe it qualifies people with bad or no credit. I did the initial application while I was researching this video and I was denied even with the 690 credit score, so I'm really not sure what happened there. And I also found that the average credit score being approved for this card was a 640. And with that score, it's considered fair credit, opening up your options to better cards with better rates. With that being said, checking to see if you pre-qualify does doesn't impact your credit score, so it never hurts applying. But if you do get approved and decide to continue with the application, Prosper will run a hard pull on your credit. The Prosper credit card has no annual fee for the first year when you set up auto pay. Every year after that is going to be $39.99, and your initial credit limit is going to be anywhere from $500 to $3,000, with automatic reviews for increases every three months. One thing I found interesting is that if you are approved and set up an online account, you'll have access of up to 50% of your credit limit instantly with a virtual card. You'll even be able to make cash advances with your Prosper card without an ATM fee. Just be aware that the ATM itself might charge you a fee. Another plus about this card is that you can choose your payment date. So you can line up your payment date with your paycheck and make sure that you're never late on your payment. Next is Upgrade, which has four products. Cash Rewards, Triple Cash Rewards, Bitcoin Rewards, and the Upgrade card. I'm not gonna cover them all. The application process is pretty much the same across all four, just a few slight differences in the perks. As with all these other cards, checking to see if you qualify won't impact impact your credit score. I will say this, if you do have bad credit, try applying for the basic upgrade card, which is a low 
lowest tier of all four and most likely the card you're going to qualify for with bad credit and if and when you're approved you can sign into your account to have access to your virtual card which you can use instantly and unlike prosper where you can only use 50 percent with this virtual card you can use a hundred percent of your credit limit and your potential credit line is crazy starting out at 500 all the way up to 25,000. but of course if you're going to get approved for that $25,000 tier you're going to have to have excellent credit i do want to point out this is not a traditional credit card although it looks like one the upgrade visa allows you to obtain a series of closed-in loans which have terms of 12 to 60 months just like a line of credit and you can access that loan through your upgrade card or transferring the money directly into your bank account so what this means on a closed-in loan let's say you're approved for a thousand dollars you spend that four thousand the next month you pay 500 so on a regular credit card now you're going to have a 500 dollars credit limit because you paid 500 dollars back with this closed-in loan you're going to have to pay the full balance back in order to access your credit again there is no annual fee no prepayment or draw fees and there's also no late fees if you miss a payment all you're doing here is paying back the full principal and interest this card is a great simple option if you want the hybrid of a credit card plus a personal loan because it allows you to spend your credit limit just like a credit card but you also have the ability to move your full credit limit into your bank account and use it as cash next is the apple card and just like all these other cards you can pre-qualify without an impact to your credit score and a plus is you can apply for this card through the wallet app in your iphone in minutes and you can begin using your credit limit moments after you're approved so no need to wait for this card to arrive in the mail you can also receive a free apple design titanium card by following a few simple steps the apple card also offers cashback rewards which you can use virtually immediately unlike many other reward cards you don't need to wait till your billing cycle closes there are no annual or late fees with this card the variable apr ranges from 12 to 23 percent and your credit limit can be as low as 50 dollars all the way up to 15 thousand and if your credit score is lower than 600 you might not be a Approved. but if you are declined you may be able to use a pass the apple card program to complete credit building tasks and become eligible for the apple card in the future a few of the downsides of the apple card is the initial low credit limit of 50 dollars keep in mind this 50 dollar credit limit is mostly going to be for people with average to bad credit and the other thing is to access all the features to the card you're going to need to own an iphone all in all it's a decent credit card with a fair apr and a nice max credit limit i'm going to be shooting for the 15 thousand dollar credit limit fingers crossed so i hope you found this video helpful links for everything we covered today in the description i want to thank you for watching check you on the next one let's get paid